Today we will go over network function virtualization concept and see what problems are addressed by them. Our first question to answer is what is network function virtualization? Network function virtualization abstracts network functions allowing them to be installed, updated and manipulated by software running on commodity of the shelf service. NFE incorporates cloud and virtualization technologies to drive rapid development of new network services with elastic CK and automation. These technologies are often called as network function virtualization and software defined networking. So why network function virtualization? Let us answer. The desire to automate the orchestration and management of network storage and compute resource is a key driver of development for NFE and SDN. Imagine one physical server with 10 virtual machines or hundreds of Docker containers. You can never scale this environment if your only option is manual operations. With automation, which is addressed by network function virtualization, you can rapidly spin up or destroy virtualized network functions such as virtual machines, containers, routers, firewalls and intrusion prevention systems to elastically scale your network functions to match dynamic demand. Using NFE, enterprises bring agility in delivering network services with capital efficiency by removing bottlenecks imposed by manual processes and allowing new services to be deployed on demand. NFE allows service providers to deliver services faster and cost effectively so that they can adapt the customer needs for scale and agility. Now let's answer the question how does network function virtualization work? The modular architecture of NFE enables service provider to have automation at every level. Major components of architecture include NFE infrastructure. NFE infrastructure provides hypervisors or container management systems such as Kubernetes as virtualization layer anti-physical compute, storage, and networking components that host virtual network functions. NFEI is managed through the Virtualized Infrastructure Manager, which controls the allocation of resources for the virtual network functions. OpenStack is an example of open source WIM, controlling the physical and virtual resources. Virtual network functions, software-based applications that provide one or more network services. VNFs use the virtualized infrastructure provided by NFEI to connect into network and provide programmable, scalable network services. VNF managers support the life cycle of VNF instances and management of VNF software. Management and orchestration, or in shortly, MANO, provides overarching management and orchestration of VNFs in network function virtualization architecture. MANO instantiates the network services through automation, provisioning, and coordination of workflows to the VM and VNF managers that instantiate the VNFs and overlay networking service chains. MANO connects the NFE architecture with existing OSS and BSS. All big players among network appliance providers have already entered the market. Alcatel Lucent, Cisco, NSN, Ericsson, Juniper, VMware, and A5 can be given as big players in the market. Solutions from different vendors have similar decomposition as commercial product range and they can be listed as Management and Orchestration Platform, which implements programmable cloud reference architecture of MANO. System verified and validated horizontal NFI stack. Automation layer for data center operations to build, operate, and troubleshoot cloud scale fabric with carrier grade underlay overlay intent-based networking, virtual intelligent routers and firewalls. From now, let's answer frequently asked questions about the topics and terms. Difference between NFE and BNF can be explained as follows. Network function virtualization is a framework built upon European Telecommunication Standards Institute, NFE architectural model to virtualize networking infrastructure and platform resources such as compute, storage and networking. The individual functions that become virtualized in software implementations such as firewalls, routers, route reflectors and broadband network gateways are called virtual network functions. The advantages of NFE can be listed as unlike networking platforms that are built on service specific hardware, NFE supports software infrastructure that is independent of the hardware. Commercial of the shelf server hardware acts as common compute platform for the virtual machines 
that deliver the network functions. Server, compute, memory and storage resources can be flexibly shared by multiple virtual machines simultaneously to tailor performance and scale for each service while optimizing costs. Unlike dedicated hardware platforms that support a single service and amortize it over the time, NFE supports the agility to scale out and scale in to match service demand while hosting multiple services on single physical service to achieve economic efficiencies. Now let's answer the relationship between VNF and virtual machine. Virtual network function can be implemented as a single virtual machine on a single server or it can be desegregated and implemented as multiple VMs across multiple servers. Software desegregation allows components of server to be delivered from different platforms and locations such as control plane from regional data center and user plane from edge cloud to optimize performance, latency, scale and cost. As a service, VNF may be implemented using multiple applications, each run within its own virtual machine, to tune performance and scale of that application without need of instantiate an entirely new virtualized network function. 5G can provide higher speed, lower latency and greater capacity than 4G LT networks. 5G and NFV are used together by vendors. But why? Because 5G is 5th generation mobile network, which has been designed and implemented using NFV and cloud principles. NFV brings increased automation, operational agility and reduced capex to all areas of 5G infrastructure, from 5G core to 5G run. And as a last question for this broadcast, how does NFE work? Based on the HC NFE reference architecture, hardware resources like compute, storage and networking are abstracted using virtualization layer, called hypervisor. The hypervisor creates and runs virtual machines that share the underlying hardware. One or more virtual machines are used to implement a virtualized network functions. NFE management and orchestration, known as MANO, is handled by higher level applications to automate the life cycle of NFV infrastructure and VNF services. Networking of VMs and services is the responsibility of software defined networking controller, which automates subnet membership and policy enforcement. Thank you for listening. I hope that I could be able to help you have some basic understanding about those technologies and their use cases.